believable. Our very own brother, Deji Adeyonju, makes a stunning revelation with regards to um, Tinubu, you know, Kwonkoso, uh, Peter Obi. Uh, these are the presidential candidates, Atiku, and the rest. And what he said about those persons are causing a lot of uh, reactions. Okay? What he said, we know that PDP needs to get their house together. Yes, we know that already. PDP needs to really work at it because um, uh, the, the presidential candidate, Atiku, is not putting himself together to bring aggrieved members, you know, on board and ensure that, you know, all is done decently and in order. As if that is not enough. We also see the likes of, uh, you know, Kwonkoso, you know, who could not possibly have a merger with Peter Obi as a result of, you know, self, you know, uh, who, will, who will be the vice president and who will be president himself and, you know, both of them. Peter, Peter Obi and Kwonkoso could not really resolve that. So the whole plans, that one, that all went down. Let's get all the details. The All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate, Ashiwaja Ahmed Bola Tinubu, is believed to stand a better chance of winning in the 2023 elections due to the failure of the opposition political parties to unite and form a common front, says the GRD on June. He says, we believe so strongly, so, so strongly, that if Peter Obi and Robbie Okonkoso merger was possible, that would have been a win-win case. But currently now, Peter Obi has a lot of people on his side, but is that enough? Is that enough? Is the question uh, our uh, DJ Adeonju is asking. Okay? It says, uh, Rabi Ukwankoso as the presidential candidate of NNPP and Labour Party, Peter Obi, the merger, the alliance would have done a great deal. Finding at the development that it did not quite go through. DJ Adeonju said this will lead Tinubu to victory as the vote will be segmented rather than being, you know, together to bring a united front that could possibly give them the win. The North needs the South as far as the South needs the North. As, so, as long as Nigeria remains at, as one, both need each other and cannot go against one another. Tinubu has a chance of winning, DG declares, especially with his Muslim Muslim ticket. Many Nigerian Christians will not like it, but they have to agree that Tinubu has just strategized and put his house in order. For Atiku, he needs to go back to the drawing board and begin to see how he can bring aggrieved members together. If he does not do this immediately, things may not work out as planned. He must ensure you know, that he puts his house together, otherwise Atiku will lose it. I see these peoples not working together as a, as a move to make Tinubu become the one who could possibly become the winner if they don't agree and begin to work at it now. So my wonderful people, DJ Adeyonju, you know him very well. And um, he's, he's, you know, he's saying that the Muslim Muslim ticket that Tinubu is the same person who said Tinubu does not care about Nigerians. He has just told Nigerians that he does not care. Hmm? It's the same person who said it. Now he's saying, you know, what Tinubu has done, you know, going ahead and picking uh, a Muslim, uh, it shows that he does not give a damn about Nigerians. He does not care what happens to Nigerians. He does not care. Okay? So he does not care. And right now he's saying, for the fact that he does not even care, it's not even the issue. The other political uh, members are not doing everything that they can to possibly, you know, uh, be a, bring wing. But I want to tell you that, you, you know, people are really underrating the importance of uh, social media. You know, people are talking about Tinubu coming, uh, you know, uh, Peter will be becoming prominent now. And some people are saying it is just on social media. It's not true. It's not just on social media. Social media is creating an awareness that is now having a ripple effect. You can see it going on. Social media is having an awareness that is now creating a ripple effect. Okay, all over the land is not creating that awareness that is causing more and more people, okay, to rise. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on, you know. So this is what is going on right now, okay. So my wonderful people, it's 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 it is what it is, and the truth of the matter remains until Nigerians look at it and see beyond just a politician who has been there who has 
I look at a man who has a vision who could possibly bring a difference. I don't think that we are ready to make a change and a difference in this nation unless we really go for it and we make up our minds and say, you know what, this change will come. Come rain, come shine, we will have it. And we do everything, humanly speaking, possible by, by rising up together in one accord and refusing anything, okay, and everything that could potentially, possibly not move us forward. If we can refuse all that and work in synergy with oneness, with one heart, then we will see that Nigeria has a potential of moving forward. But if we don't do that, we may just give the, the vote to someone we have not really, you know, we've not really, you know, uh, we've not really, uh, we don't really believe can make a difference. Could it be Peter Obi? Could it be Tinubu? Could it be Atiku? Could it be Konkoso? Could it be any of the, any of any, any one of the other uh, politicians? Guys, the ball is in our court. At the end of the day, we will be the one to decide by our votes. Please, let's get our PVCs. Let's go out there and let's vote. I know that for a long time now, our vote has not count. For instance, APC is strategizing to see to it that they win the vote. Okay? To see to it that they win the vote. But, but, but we, what, what do we do? What do we do as a people? What do we do? We need to really rise up from it and begin to say, you know what? It's time for us to, to make a difference. It's time for us to ensure that Nigeria becomes a place for us all. If we don't, things will turn out the other way and we may not be happy, you know, at the turn of event. It is important we work at what is right. You know, when you want something, you go for it. You don't sit back and expect somebody else to do it for you. No, you don't do that. You go for it. Okay, you go for it. So these are some of the things that are happening. Why Nigerians all over are beginning to ask themselves, is it enough? Is it enough just to have a president or a vice president who does not care what's happening with the people? Is it enough? What can we do differently? And how can we really make this change? These are some of the things that are going on. Well, my wonderful people, it's about time. It's about time we, we, we make that choice and make a stand so that things can change. It's about time. Okay? It's about time. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Bye for now. Bye.